Hello YouTube, this is Super Raging Rhino. Um, this is my one well, of my decks I've been running since uh, the new format of March. Um, it's kind of similar to what I was running in the last format, but um, I had to take out the salvo. Basically, I had to take out everything that was like salvo dad, like salvos and decoishes and uh, things of, like that nature. Um, I found it to be too slow, especially with like Sam's running around and like I didn't have enough time to set up and make plays and I just found it too slow for this current format so I had to get rid of it. It kind of sucked but I had to, to kind of keep up. Um, basically this is also a chaos version so I'm just gonna, everything's basically self-explanatory. I'm not gonna have to really mention anything. Everyone's probably encountered these cards before, so I'm just going to run through the deck. One Gorus. Triple Caius. Double Sorcerer. I'm kind of glad he's that too. Double Cyber Dragon. Uh, I main one Doom Cow. Um, I was main two before, but. I either dead drew into both of them or it just didn't help me too much at all at the time so one has been working out for me so far. Uh, two Thunder Kings. Two Duty Warrior Ladies. Um, Duty Warrior Ladies do help me out. I can kind of set it and then people can just run, it, run into it with their Sheen or whatever and they can't use Makatama to stop it. Um, Triple Alchemist uh, helps me cycle stuff out, helps me get back my DD Warrior Ladies, my Faders, and etc. Um, honest, just a tech. I had to I had one spot left open, and I wanted to keep the light and dark monsters count balanced, so it should be 13 dark uh, and 13 lights. Uh, one Banisher. Uh, one Serengin, one Spirit Reaper. Um, if Iron still doesn't help me too much, I'll pop one the second Spirit Reaper. Uh, play Spreader, two Veilers, and three Battle Fighters. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, double Bombs Trap Hole, pretty standard. Uh, two Warnings. Um, this is probably the only card I'm going to actually get into a little bit. Um, I know in my previous video, I only ran one. I know I said it was too costly, but in current, to me in the current, how the current f format is like, kind of need control and need to stop those big plays early. So two is essential to me if you can get it. And I'm just still kind of surprised the price shot up to this region 70, so I'm kind of glad I got it before it shot up. I got mine for like 35, so I'm glad I did that. Um, one turn chill, one mirror force, and one solemn. That's it for the travel right now. Um, one dark hole, I still run one book. Um, it's it's still useful at one. If they're trying to like synchronize or something, then you just book the tuner and at least you can install them off for that one turn. Uh, giant Trinade. I mean, one MSD for now. It might change depending on how things go. One Monster with Warren and one Power Duality. And that's it for the spells. Um, I would like to work in probably two Smashing Grounds or. Or something. Um, but see what happens. Um, the synchros, one archery, one colossal. I like bring them out against six Sams since they're all warriors. Uh, one dark end, double stardust, one chimera tech, one black rose, lightning warrior, um, Gaia. He's basically, to me, just taking the place of uh, Goy, although he doesn't have an effect. Um, as far as I know, he's the biggest um, 
six star beater for synchros. So, uh, one Bionic, one Android, and one Catastic. And that's it for the synchros. Um, kind of a side me. Um, it's not complete yet, but yeah. Um, I have two open slots left, so I might put Smashing Grounds as a side. Uh, that's my second MST. Um, Mind Crush. Because I noticed that a lot of people are searching this format. So I can just set. This one plays like Smoke Signal or whatever, Aroda. I can say Mind Crush and Mind Crush your Kakashi. So I'll slow them down a little bit. Uh, one Royal Oppression. Uh, two Chain Disappearance. Uh, one DD Crow. Two Polo Plants. As you can kind of tell, some of my stuff is going to be 6 am hate. But, um, two Connect Soldiers. Uh, one Fossil Dino, which is very nice. I picked it up for like 35, which is very good. Uh, my second Doom Cow, I might take him out as a, take him out of the side and replace with something else, but I'm not sure yet. And one Maxi. Um, this gives me a little extra draw power if I see that like after the first round that someone's deck is just too fast, like the Fish OTK, for example. Uh, if I just drop it at the right time, I can drop it, draw into cards I need, and try and keep pace with them. And that's really it. Um, subscribe. Um, you know, check out my channel. Um, if you see that the deck needs any any tweaking or any help, just you know, post some comments. Um, I'm always open for suggestions, and that's really it. Uh, thanks for watching.